Good afternoon and welcome to Cookbook Chat. Um, today we have a nice little book put out by Country Living Magazine. It's called The Little Book of Pies and Tarts. I really like this uh, compact size, really nice fits on your counter. As many of my favorite books have, they got have the nice um, spiral binding here, making it very easy to lay flat. So um, this book has the subtitle, 50 Easy Homemade Favorites to Bake and Share. the table of contents page. I'll read you the sections. There's uh, simple crumb crusts, no fuss free form crusts, single crust pies, double crust pies, elegant tarts and tartlets, hand pies and turnovers. I don't really know what hand pies means. <laughs> Uh, and then they have uh, in the back metric equivalency charts, index, photography credits, special thanks, and recipe cards to share in the back. Right, so much of making pies is all about the crusts. <coughs> this is some really beautiful looking cherry pies. It's probably one of my favorite fruit pies is cherry. And this is baking for beginners. Has a few little tips such as read the recipe thoroughly before starting. Accurate measurements are important. And a little bit on uh, measuring dry versus liquid ingredients. Uh, let's see. Preheat your oven kind of oppy. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And this talks about the different ingredients. Um, fruit, butter, flour, sugar, and this is a little bit about fruit, um, freezing fruits, how to sweeten fruits, and check for ripeness. Tools of the trade talks about your tart pans, pie pans, pie weights are used. Uh, sometimes you'll see like a little uh, chain or individual lead weights just to keep the crust flat. Uh, essential techniques includes mixing, flattening the dough, and rolling out the dough, and uh, transferring it. This is a pretty kind of a vintage table. <clears throat> that looks like a classic apple pie with a French crumb crust. All right. Um, wow. That looks pretty fancy. Okay, I've got the crumb crust first. It had includes. Um, like about six or seven different varieties. Crumb crusts usually have um, either crackers like graham crackers or cookies um, that you crumble up and mix with butter oftentimes uh, and then you press them in like a cheesecake. Crust is a crumb crust. 
banana pudding pie. What kind of caramel glaze? Let's Yogurt and fruit tartlets with cereal crusts. So here there was cornflakes and pecans. Crum crushed that all up and um, had maple syrup and butter and made a really tasty crust and then fill it with the custard. rhubarb custard pie. Summer berry tart with chocolate crumb crust. Well, that looks delicious. Although I don't know what those red berries are. Oh, red currants. Hmm. Don't find those very often. So, you get the general idea, um, ginger snap crust, sounds good, chocolate caramel cream pie, and this is no fuss free form crusts, it includes uh, a puff pastry, uses a oh cinnamon cinnamon scented dough pastry crust mixed berry crostata kind of a more um, country style crust and a plum galette galette we often see the um, bottom crust is folded over on the sides like that. This is a uh, fig crust doctor. And now that's a more savory entry, which is kind of Interesting that that's in the middle of all the dessert pies. Um, caramelized onion and gruyere tarts. That looks really good. I guess, alright, there's another savory one. There's pesto ricotta quiche. You make your own pesto here. Just pretty easy um, if you have a food processor or mini mini prep. Um, you could probably do it in a blender too. And these are single crust pies. Open on the top. This one has a meringue. Pecan pie, of course, is. One of the most well-known. Orange meringue pie. Look at that one. Lemon meringue. It's a classic. Oh, this is um, fresh berry. It includes strawberries and raspberries. Hazelnuts in the crust. But that's pretty good. Pumpkin pecan pie. Butterscotch. Syrup, 
cheese pie. I kind of like having an open-faced grilled cheese tomato sandwich. It uses the plum tomatoes, some white onion, and you can use a pre-baked pie shell or you can make your own. Um, and cheddar cheese, you could use a sharp or a mild or even a white cheddar or a mix mixture. This is a tofu quiche, and now we have double crust pies. Um, these are very, the most traditional pies I would say, often fruit pies, and you'll see a lot of different styles of um, doing the top crust in this section. This is how to make a lattice open, which is really pretty. Not too hard to do. Um, takes a little extra time, but it looks really nice. This is farmhouse apple pie. And they made little individual ones. It makes a cute little gift. These are also miniatures. This is cherry. But you can buy these um, small uh, pans, little tart pans, about four inches. It's perfect for individual desserts or gifts. Blueberry. And oh, this is nectarines and blueberries. It's a great flavor combination. I love those together. Oh, this is cute. It's done on this vintage fabric with the cherries. Blue and white checks. It's so, such a sweet picture. She's picking cherries. This is a nice little detail. You cut out stars um, with a, a little miniature cookie cut to make the crust. Blueberry peach. Huckleberry. I don't know where they get huckleberries. I never see them. Shaker lemon pie. It only has four ingredients, believe it or not. Lemons, sugar, eggs, and then the pie crust. Right. Oh, this is the um, elegant tarts and tarts. Figs and raspberries, maybe. Alright, let's see what else is in here. Oh, I love these miniature pecan tarts. Well, we're almost out of time for today's show. Um, you can see that little um, blank recipe cards here you want to share or write down your own recipes. And uh, that gives you an idea 